need is I need a circle over here. So I'll need a circle. So I'll take midpoint and draw the circle. So once again, if you are not shown this midpoint in yellow format, you'll have to click here. This is bow snap setting. So you have to go to bow snap setting, select all, then click OK. So this will ensure you will see the midpoint. Next, I'll just delete this and trim this away. For trimming, I have to type tr double enter and trim all this. So next up, what I have to do is I have to get this line. So this is at 78 degrees. Now getting 78 degrees exactly with polar setting, it is a bit tough. So we will use a notation called polar notation. So I'll take 78 degrees of angle. For that I have to take line command, start at this point and I need 78 degrees on this side. So I will use polar notation at the rate, I will give some length, because length is not that important, we need angle. So I will just type at the rate 100 angle, angle I need is 78, but I can't type 78 because I have to type 180 minus 78, 180 minus 78 is 102. typing this here. So at the rate angle 100, I mean uh, length 100 and angle 102. So if I press enter, I will get that line. So now what I need is, I need this distance, the parallel uh, distance between these two parallel lines is 56. So I will take a command called offset, shortcut for that is O. So I just have to type O enter and I will create the distance 56. 56 enter, O enter, 56 enter, then click on this line and just click above. So that will make sure I will get a line. Now this line I have to take intersection with this. For that I have to give extend command, EX double enter, click on this, then press shift and click here. It will trim. So this has given us the outermost boundary. The outermost boundary is now clear to us. So now what we need to do is we need to draw this inner parts. So this circle is having same center as this arc with a diameter 24. So I'll take this center with circle command. Diameter I need. So right click and choose diameter and feed the diameter. Diameter is 24. So 24. So this circle is clear. Next we need this circle over here. So this is at a distance of 32 from here. So what I'll do, I'll take a circle command with C enter. Same center I'll take here, same center as this. And having diameter 10, so I'll go for diameter and feed 10. Now I need to move this. So move command is over here or you can type M enter. Click here and in this direction I want it to be displaced by 32 mm. So displacing by 32 mm. Next, I need here. So this is again at a distance of 32 mm. The diameter of this circle has not been given, but here there is a hint for us. So he has marked it as 2 diameter 24, which means there is another diameter 24 in this diagram. So nowhere else do we see it other than here which means this circle is also having diameter 24. So I have to take diameter, another diameter 24, so I will feed diameter 24 and I will again move this diameter in this direction by distance 32. Okay. So now I need these two lines, so those two lines, so to get those lines I will have to take a distance of 32 the center which is already at 32 distance I will take a line like this and then I need a parallel line to this passing through this point so again I take offset and in offset you have an option called 